I'm Shondor, and I'm walking through 2,000 miles of rattlesnakes, river crossings, and high-velocity lead poisoning on the Oregon Trail without dying of dysentery. Wagons! Oh! By the time the first wagon trains rolled across the prairie, the beaver pelt trade was all but dead, and many former mountain men found new employment guiding wagons to Oregon and California. One of these mountain men was Joe Meek, who would later gain notoriety as a lawman in Oregon. Meek had heard rumors that here at Alcove Spring in what's now Northeast Kansas, the mosquitoes grew as large as turkeys. Not one to believe mountain men's tall tales, Meek decided to investigate himself. And he found that those rumors were absolutely false. He could not find a single mosquito here any larger than a crow. Ah. To prove they had no emotional inadequacies and were perfectly self-actualized, many emigrants, virtually all men, carved their names on the rocks at Alcove Spring and many other Oregon Trail camps. The carving served a practical purpose along with its egotistical one. 10% of the people who attempted the Oregon Trail did not finish. Many died along the way, and it was real news just to have something written down that you were alive and well at a certain time at a certain place. James Reed was born in County Armagh, Northern Ireland, and had most recently come from Springfield, Illinois, along with his wife Martha, five children, and Martha's mother, Sarah Keyes. They began the trail in Independence, Missouri. To go to California and stopped here, where they buried Reed's mother-in-law, and he took the time to carve his name on the 26th day of May in 1846. Reed had served along with Abraham Lincoln in the Black Hawk War, but apart from his military service and one inscription in the rock, his life might have escaped the memory of history, if not for the fact that he stumbled months later, half dead, half starved, out of the Sierra Nevada mountains into Johnson's Ranch in California with the news that his family, along with those of his friends, the Donner brothers and dozens of others, were stranded by the snow at a lake high in the Sierra, and they were not having a party. Reed led the second of three rescue parties. Of the 87 original members of the expedition, only 48 made it out of the mountains alive, and not before many resorted to cannibalism as their only means of survival. There are days out on the trail where I feel every part of me walking in the footsteps of history. Sometimes, I'm touching fingers with it. And today, it even feels like we're playing footsie. 